Do you like anime? Do you like stickers? If the answer to either of those questions were yes, or you're just an otaku like me, go check out sukawaii.com. Here, you can look at all of these beautiful stickers and other anime merch and accessories. They've got My Hero Academia. They've got Seven Deadly Sins. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen. They've even got little cuties like this. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm buying them. I bought some myself and they're amazing and adorable. Here, look, using the link in the description below, use promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. That's promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. I mean seriously, look how cute! Monster, an Attack on Titan X Mute Reader fanfic by Mokamaki. Chapter 13. If you're new to the channel and this series, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and a comment down below. What do you think about Levi? Love him? Hate him? Don't care? <laughs> Let me know. But anyways, without further ado, let's begin chapter 13. I internally groaned as I felt myself getting lightly shaken by something. Wake up! Wake up, you brat! My eyes fluttered open to find myself surrounded by warmth and a blurred out face above me. So soft. What was I laying on? My eyes fixated to reveal the captain staring boredly at me. Huh? Why does he look so tall from here? Wait. Can you please get off of me? <sighs> Realization slowly hit me. I was laying on the lap of humanity's strongest. I abruptly got up and squirmed, my cheeks growing hot. I couldn't say sorry, but I'm sure my actions told him that. Uh, embarrassing. I was supposed to make a good first impression. This was bound to happen at some point. I would always sleep on Aaron, Armin, or Mikasa's shoulder or lap when I was tired when I was young. It kind of grew to be a habit of mine ever since. But wait, if he knew I was sleeping on him, why didn't he push me off right away? His head was turned the other way, so I couldn't see his face. We're here. Let's go. He climbed out of the carriage, and I quickly followed after him. Right as I did, I was met with a large castle-like building. Was this really the Survey Corps headquarters? Was I really going to stay here? What are you waiting for, brat? Come on! My captain yelled. I flinched and quickly followed him inside. This place was huge. How am I supposed to know where everything is? I don't have time to give you a whole tour, so I'll just introduce you to my squad and let Petra guide you around. Petra? Was she part of his squad? <laughs> well, duh, she has to be. I shook my head. How stupid can I be? I continued to follow my captain around like a lost puppy until he stopped, making me stop as well. He stood there for a moment and then held out his arm to me. My eyes slightly widened. What was he? I don't want you getting lost, he bluntly replied. I hesitated a moment before gripping onto his arm, making me flinch a little bit. He tugged me along and didn't really say anything else. As for me, my heart was racing inside of my chest. We arrived back outside to meet four young adults in training. Is this his squad? Captain Levi brought me closer and immediately let go of my arm once we were close. Alright, listen up! The four immediately stopped what they were doing and lined up in formation. Captain Levi walked up in front of him and I quickly followed his trail. This is Cadet. She would be joining our squad from now on. She excels in combat training and would be of great use to us, Levi explained. I felt awkward under their judging gazes. Uh, Captain, isn't she a bit too young to graduate early? A girl with strawberry brown hair asked. Despite her age, she's a lot stronger than you may think. The guy with the brown undercut scoffed. Really? A kid like her good in combat training? She looks like a lost puppy. Knock it off, will you? The strawberry brunette nudged his side harshly. What? I'm just stating the obvious. The what? Just because she looks cute, she can't be strong? What's so cute about her? I felt myself lower my head down in shame and embarrassment. Captain Levi noticed this and growled softly. Oh, that's enough. He said sharply, causing the male to tense. C Captain, but I... The dark look Levi gave him was enough to shut him up. This gave time for the girl to speak. I'm very sorry for Olo's actions. I'm sure he doesn't mean it. She glared at the said Mel. This must be Petra. She seems nice. I'm Petra, and that grumpy crouch over there is Olo. The blonde-haired one is Eld, and the one beside him is Gunther. I didn't reply, but continued to stare at Petra while slightly humming. Petra began to grow nervous. She probably doesn't know that I can't talk yet. I was going to say that the next cadet is mute, so she needs a lot more attention than you think. 
Petra's face immediately saddened. Uh, oh, I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. She immediately felt bad. I walked up to her and gently patted her hand, telling her it was okay. Petra smiled at me gently, which made Olo flinch in anger. Hey, let go of her! Olo tried to pry my hands off, but Petra smacked them away. Stop being rude to the child, would you? She's mute and you're treating her like garbage. The two of them began to bicker, and the two other guys made their way over. They do this a lot, we pretty much get used to it, Gunther said. You okay? Eld asked me. I looked up and nodded my head. Enough, both of you! Levi shouted. Petra grew flustered. Ah, uh, Captain, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Levi remained silent for a moment. Petra. Uh, yes, Captain? Give her a tour of the HQ. I would myself, but I've got work to do. Yes, Captain, she saluted. Levi reverted his attention back to me. You, stay with her for the time being. She'll take care of you, I replied with a nod. And with that, he left and Petra gently took my hand. Let's go. She gave me a closed-eyed smile. My body felt warm and the corners of my lips turned up. I felt myself smile for what felt like ages. Petra proceeded to guide me throughout the large building. I tried my best to remember all the rooms, but I knew I was going to get lost either way. Petra kept her hand entwined with mine throughout the whole tour. She really didn't want to let go. I sniffed the air. She is genuinely a nice person. Just then, we both heard a loud gasp. We looked behind to see Hanjay and another male beside her. You? You're here? Hanjay came running at me and engulfed in a giant hug, causing me to fall to the ground with her on top of me. Petra gasped. Hanjay, why would you do that? Nobody told me that she was here. I was dying to meet her. There was a reason why. Petra muttered. I didn't have the voice to groan, so I just let out a faint whimper. Section Commander, please get off. You're crushing the child. I gripped on the Hanjay's sleeve, trying to signal her to let go, but no avail. Somehow they managed to separate her from me and Petra walked me back to the dorms. I don't think Captain said anything about your room, so I guess you could sleep with me for the time being. I hummed slightly as I laid on the bed. It was pretty comfy. Petra quietly hummed to herself as she walked around the room. I really hope you don't take Olo's words personally. He used to be so nice. <laughs> but I guess everyone changes, huh? I lightly hummed. You know, I looked up at her. You remind me of a little sister. Always looking after her. Little sister? Little sister? Is that what Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin thought of me? A little sister? I felt my cheeks grow warm, remembering their kindness. I miss them. Well, we probably shouldn't stay here for too long. Let's go. She held out her hand, which I gently took, and let her guide me back outside. I hope you guys enjoyed chapter 13 of Monster, the Attack on Titan X Meat Reader fanfic. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, thank you especially. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and don't forget to comment down below telling me what you think about Levi. Anyways, my name is Bazaar, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cue the outro.